Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to perform delete operation. Delete operation is similar to our edit operation. So I'll simply copy this to actions and I'll paste it here. And I'll rename it from edit to delete. Even this, I'll name it as delete. Save this. Once I get the ID, I'll find out that record and I'll generate a view. I'll add a delete view. I'll remove this and I'm going to copy the edit view as it is similar. I'll just copy this and paste it here. Just I'm going to rename it edit to delete. And here I'll just ask a question. Are you sure? that you are trying to delete the record instead of save I'll say delete that's it and you can see that first delete will get the record and display it and the next delete is going to delete the record to delete the record the only thing that you need to do is change the state from modified to deleted save this So let me execute this. So I get all the records. So I'm trying to delete this training record. So I'll say delete. So it says that, are you sure that you want to delete this particular record? I'll say yes, delete it. Record got deleted. So delete is very simple. In the similar way, we can also implement create new. That is nothing but insert or inserting a new record. So in the same way, we can also implement insert operation like create. So I'm going to go back and I'll copy this delete actions and I'll paste it here. One is get, I'll say create as it is not at all going to pass any parameters and I don't want to pass anything or any object to it save this i'll right click and say add view it will add create view and i have a create view ready with me i'll simply copy that and paste it here save this so whenever i say create it is going to render this view and from here whenever i say create that is create button click create button it is going to jump to this create and here i need to simply change from deleted to added that's it this is how you can perform all crude operations that is nothing but update delete and add save all and execute it so I'll say create new you can see that I get a beautiful form again I have back to the list as we know that department ID is auto generated we do not require it on the form anymore so I can simply go back to my create form and I can remove department ID and save this I get department name I'll say new DEPT and HOD I'll say new HOD and I'll simply say create so I get a new department if I want I can edit it change the HOD name I can see the details back to the list details even I can edit it from here back to the list if I want I can delete this I'll say delete. So that's it. This is our master details screen. And this is how you perform all the operations with eight actions index, details, edit, get, edit, post, delete, get, delete, post, create, and create post. And you can see that in your latest version of entity framework, you can perform all CRUD operations with 
single line of code just by saying that the state is modified it is going to perform update by declaring that the state is delete it is going to perform delete and by declaring that the state is added it is going to add a new record to your database so that's it for this video thank you very much